Hey guys, it's beer o'clock on ginger beer and this time something a little bit different. I am bigging up Tesco's. I know, I know, can't believe it. As you know guys, those who know me, they know how pain in the arse I am when we're going out for a beer. What a great fan I am of the independent brewery, the independent beer, uh, a dislike for the big conglomerates that just pile out the bilge that they call real ale, uh, how I love the old bottle shops and anything that's just individual and great. So why am I bigging up Tesco's? Well, as a lot of you know, and I know a couple of other people have already posted, I was going to try and do it, but unfortunately I haven't been able to get the camera going for a couple of days because of work, so others have pipped me to the post. Great reference to uh, Aintree, which is on later today. Get your bets on, guys. See if there is a splash of ginge running. <coughs> Worth a quid. Right, anyway, back to Tesco's. So Tesco's have always been a supporter of the craft beer scene. Back when it wasn't so hip and trendy to drink craft beer, Tesco's were still pushing out tins on their shelves. And they have continued with that and now they are putting more and more craft and interesting different beers there for everybody to see. Bringing it to the forefront, bringing it to those who wouldn't normally, it's all right for us who love the old beer, but there's loads of people out there that probably wouldn't know of these beers and certainly wouldn't try them unless they were there right in front of their face on the shelves. So I went down to Tesco's yesterday to have a look myself. I went into Tesco's at Taunton, great store, and I picked up a few little beauties here that I will be reviewing soon. Most of them, three quid a tin. Three quid. You can't, you can't odds at that. Good God, man. So, fantastic guys. Support Tesco's. Go and have a look. And I know another guy that I follow has already put it on his, his site saying how it, when he was there, there was people looking at the tins, looking at the bottles because they look a little bit different and it was exactly the same in Tesco's in Taunton. While I was there checking out the different tins, deciding what I was going to buy, several people came along and just stopped just because of the look of tins. They're bright, they're vibrant, they're funky, they're fresh, you know, they just look interesting, they catch your eye because of their designs. So, you know, if they're going to do that and put things, if the breweries are going to put these on the shelf, then no wonder people are stopping. There was a couple there that stopped, picked up several. This one they picked up, which I'll tell you what is in a minute. They were looking at that and the conversation went along the lines of, should we try it? Don't know what it's like, but it sounds like it would be fun to try. Hey, if that isn't beer, what is? Tesco's? Tip top tastic. So, I went in. I bought these beers. We've got, one minute, I'm gonna get me glasses. I've got me glasses. I'm back with me glasses. So guys, old age, don't knock it. So, first of all, Vocation Brewery and Yeasty Boys, their breakfast club, Waffle and Blueberry Breakfast Stout, coming in at 6.9, 6.9, look at that, a 440 mil can, three quid, three quid, lovely looking can there, waffles on the front, blueberry, can't wait to try that one, then I picked up, now, ha -ha, this one, Thornbridge Brewery, a great, great brewery for different beers, some interesting ones they do. This one, Pink Grapefruit Halcyon, 7.4. 7.4, get in there. Look at the design on that, lovely. Superb, Pink Grapefruit Imperial IPA. Mm -mm. All these I'll be reviewing soon, so if you like the idea of these, then by the time I load this, it'll probably be the one that's just above it on the site. Click on those and see the beers. Next one, for Pure Brewery. For Pure, uh, South London, I think they are. I'm pretty sure for Pure, and I may be wrong. Let's have a look. 
They may be one of the breweries that you do when you do the Bermondsey Beer Mile, which I'm going to be doing again soon, and I will try and take the camera with me and get some footage for the site. It's a great thing. Google it, search it. It's a great day out. You have to do it on a Saturday, I think, unless they've changed it. But it's brewery after a brewery, and it's superb, superb fun. So what was I looking for? Um, seeing where they were. I'm sure I'm right, but... I might be wrong, as I usually am. Uh, <coughs> um, uh, Bermondsey, get in. Right, nearly choked myself to death doing it. So, <coughs> for Pure, it's one of their coastline range. Gooseberry and vanilla dry hopped sour. Dry hopped sour. Want to know the strength? Of course you do. It is 6%. 6%! nice looking can as well it's one of those with the sort of paper outing on it so i do like those it's the trendy new way to go so there you go that's another one all these three cans that i've done so far three quid each three quid you know i admit okay everybody has different budgets drink what you want drink what you can afford don't drink at all i'm not telling you to do anything but you can't lose at three quid a tin happy days what else have we got? We've got Hop Stuff, uh, Unbarred, their Grapefruit. Grapefruit is the new trendy fruit, I think, for beers, isn't it? There seems to be more and more beers that are using grapefruit. Not knocking it, I love grapefruit. I know it's hard looking at me to believe I eat any fruit, but fantastic. We've got Grapefruit New England IPA or NEPA. This one, 6.5. Lovely looking tin again. There it is, look at that. Can't wait to try these, cannot wait. And then we went for all of those, obviously the 440 mil tins on those. And then coming back to the usual standard 330 mil, I picked up another for pure one, for pure. It's their Juice Box Citrus IPA. Now I've been wanting to try that one for a while. I know a few have tried it already. I know you see it in different places. But hey, I haven't tried it. You may not have known or tried it. So I'll be doing that one again soon. Again, look at that. Look at the design. It is no wonder that people, Bert and Ada, walking down the aisle at Tesco's, suddenly see tins like this that are just standing out on the shelf. Great design. Top marks the breweries. Well done. And I picked up a bottle, a bottle. So we've got a 330 mil bottle. Again, it's a Thornbridge beer. It's their Frisa. It's the Strawberry Milkshake IPA. Coming in 4.8, respectable 4.8. Now this one intrigues me for a bottle. I don't know if you can see that. I will try and, when I do it, I will try and get a light behind it. But it is cloudy in there. I, it's. It, oh, it looks intriguing. It's going to be oh, Strawberry Milkshake IPA. Let's have a look. A collaboration between Thornbridge and Four Pure. A creamy session milkshake IPA with fresh strawberries and a hint of vanilla. That's two of your five a day. I'll be running the London Marathon at this rate. So there we go. A bottle of Freesha Strawberry Milkshake. So all of those are from Tesco's. I can't remember how much the bottle was. I can't remember how much the small tin was. It was I've got a feeling it was, oh, was it, there's some deal on for five of them, five different ones. There is so many different, design, uh, different types on the shelves. I could have picked up a load more, but I'd made the old mistake of just having a basket, not a trolley. So I thought that'll do for the time being. And I was supposed to be in there buying the wife a birthday card. So, there you go, guys. That's the beers. Like I say, I've always been a supporter of independent pubs, independent breweries, and the bottle shops. I love things like that. But Tesco's, I salute you, sir. Tip top tastic. Well done, your choice. Keep it up. Guys, go and support your local Tesco's. Buy some beers, try them. They are at the end of your road. Different beers. Do not sit at home drinking the same old mundane sludge that you can get at half the price 
because you might as well just drink drain water. There you go, you've got it from me. Guys, I'll be seeing you soon. I'll be reviewing these beers. Have a great weekend. Don't forget, Grand National. By the time you probably watch this, the Grand National will have come and gone, so forget the bet earlier on. But I hope you're having a great time, and there'll be more reviews soon. And, as usual, button at the bottom. Please subscribe. Let somebody else know if they're into beers, then say to them, you need to follow this channel. Need more subscribers. Guys, see you all soon. Have a great weekend.